to lie. Okay, so, okay, the charisma and boldness. I feel like now it's just like getting my stats all together and stuff. Um, oh, I think it's changed. Or has it changed before? I don't know. You tell stories about your home world to a few heroes in the mess hall. All of them were, fast, were fascinated by the subject matter and were enhanced by your storytelling skills. Nice. Let's see charisma. It's summertime, and as much as you'd like to enjoy the warm summer sun and its cool summer ocean breeze, you and Alphonse are in his study, busy dealing with the consequence. Oh, yeah, another one of Anna's failed money making schemes. <sighs> Alphonse is skimming through a stack of documents and holding his head in his hands. There's a headache. Oh no. You want some water? So much debt. Commander, why? It's alright, Alphonse. We just need to come up with a better plan than Anna's, that's all. Maybe something that doesn't involve going to another world to pull off. I think we can do in here in NASCAR? Exactly. In the middle of your discussion, Mighty cracks the door open and peeks inside. Hey, hey, it's you. May I come in? Sure. Hello, Matthew. Please do. Matthew walks in and eyes the documents on Alphonse's desk. Sure not mentioned you guys were in, you guys were handling the trying to handle the orders money trouble. Yes. Around the building calls and death. That's a lot. I, I, I can't whistle, but just about another whistle sound. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. You guys need some help? You guys need some help? Any help will be at all will be appreciated. Thank you, Matthew. Three of you break some ideas to get the order of heroes out of debt. After an hour's worth of discussion, you narrow down your list to two ideas. And they are? Okay, so here we sell Order of Heroes. They sold these, <laughs> they sold these calendars or all this ornament that the citizens of Asper could participate. Like his pet date. When I was watching his Asian Masters video, he did the tasteful nudes thing, and it's like. <laughs> I don't think anyone else would like that, though, so I would probably don't do that. At least not in this playthrough. I'm all for the calendar, honestly. It's more the prospect of actually putting it together than the calendar itself that's exciting to me. Still, the might would be a good way to let the citizens see heroes all in one place. I'm sure they would be thrilled to see these great warriors from other worlds. Plus, it would be the order and a good light in the eyes of the people. Looks like you'll be our tiebreaker for this, Kieran. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Next time, I'll do the news calendar. Yay! Let's go with the tournament. I have no objections. Matthew? Oh, I wanted to see you and Alphonse make it. Wow. Pardons? <laughs> Look at his face. You can't help but blush at Matthew's comment. What? I'm kidding. Anyway, I start planning this thing. R right. Look at it. Over the next couple of weeks, you, Alphonse, Matthew, Anna, Serena, and Fiora, a whole lot of people, plan out a tournament together and spread word of it through the kingdom. Once the day of the tournament arrived, we need to ask our citizens to come to the capital's arena to spread the tournament. <coughs> the heroes are gathered in the middle of the arena and are pumped up and eager to show Aster what they're made of. You and Alphonse and Serena begin the tournament with the opening ceremony. I don't remember was was like this like the high order or the just the title of person drew. Welcome, Askar, to the first ever public order of the heroes tournament. We hope you've enjoyed this display of might and honor among our ranks. We'd like to thank you all for supporting the order by coming today. Because of you all, the order of heroes continue to protect and serve Askar to the best of our ability. Now, without further ado, let the tournament begin. The crowd cheers and the heroes prepare for their matches. The first two hero heroes score off as the crowd watches in awe. One battle of another, the Askarians cheer on for the heroes. Once the tournament is over, you, Alphonse, Serena, Anna, Fjorm, and Matthew travel together back to the castle. I feel like there's a few that are way to just, I mean, just say like the whole group. It's like a long list of people. That was fun. I saw a cool scene every time have a good time. You guys did pretty well in this tournament. Oh, you're just being nice. I didn't even pass the second round. I was on the other hand. You did a great job. You made it to a couple rounds before the semifinals, right? <laughs> yes. 
I wasn't made it. I didn't expect to make it that far. Yet you did. Great job. You gave Alphon the pat on the back. If you didn't know any better, because I hit Alphon and started blushing a bit. Ooh. Yay. Fiction. Okay. Are you the fix my I think, well, improve my boldness. Boldness. Uh, let's see. Did I summon this one? I don't remember. To blue. Run hard again. Uh, nap time. I so said the match comes to an end. Time to prep for battle. All right, Alphonse. August. Hmm. Alright, same thing. After leaving the mess hall, you decide to get some extra pra extra practice at the training grounds. There you spot Matthew practicing at the target range. That's strange. You never really seen him at this hour. You approach him. Completely focused on the target in front of him, he throws the dagger at an even pace, even one hitting the bullseye. Matthew? He doesn't even turn to face you. He's either focused on the bullseye. Hmm. Right turning now. You're not you're usually not here at this hour. I need to get stronger. Why right now of all times? Turns it one last dagger, gets one last bullseye, and finally turns to face you. Uh Matty digs into his pocket and hands you a folded parchment. You can fold it and see it's a letter newsletter. A new outer realms uh quarterly? Check the weapon refinery article. You skim through the newsletter until you find the weapon refinery section. You see pictures of Anna, Sharina, and Alphonse holding their personal weapons. Wow, the weapons are getting upgrades? It's awesome. Yeah, but when am I gonna get an upgrade? I don't. Has he? Like when I'm recording, has he gotten an upgrade? I don't remember. I don't think of it. matty has been here in Esther for a long time, hasn't he? Even longer than you have, and yet. There's no signs of him getting any favors from the powers that may be. He plays a reassuring hand on his shoulder. Don't worry, Matthew. Your time will come. I'm sure of it. Till then, I can help you with your training. What do you say? I appreciate it, Kieran. Thank you. You and Matthew plan out a new training regime for him and begin immediately. Actually. Uh... Fix my boldness. Uh, summoning green. Heck the. Okay, so they don't have. Uh, let's see, boldness again. Oh no, I'm fatigued. I probably should set this one out. You decide to take a break from battling. Focus on resting instead. You. Yeah. Yes, it really. Yep. Earlier, your child supported that Emma has us uh, for some new heroes to fight for them, and so you and the rest of the order of heroes march out uh, march out the battle of freedom. You managed to take down Emma with ease, and yet another contract broken. Nice job, Kieran. Ooh. Yes, thank you very much. I love this. She's such a good unit, Alexajera. And I think I have like two of you go, I think. Yes, thank you very much. Now, we have out Emma's contract biting us. We may not go back to our world to peace. At first, we'd like to thank you for freeing us. Performance, just for all of you. Oh, that's so kind of you. They just usher you and the rest of the orders to a row of seats and then retreat backstage to prepare for performance. Anna, Sharina, and Yom take their seats take their seats right away. Alpha and Matthew are just about to sit down. In that moment, you realize this will be a perfect opportunity to sit next to, uh, to sit next to your future boyfriend. It'll be just like a date. Well, I can dream, can he? Well, gotta make a decision quick. Alpha, I'll just look. Oh, you let Al you let Alpha take his seat, and you sit right next to him. After a few minutes of preparation, 
The lights in the auditorium die down as the lights on the stage brighten. Then just take to the stage and begin the performance. Olivia and Inigo set in time with Shigeru and Azura's melody. You are actually memor- mesmerized by their movement and their harmonizing. I still want them um, performing Art Shigeru when he never came home. It's like, God damn it. And then, like, the latest, like, free banner, like, I got it but on my friend's phone because uh, he asked me to summon for him. And it's like, God damn it. He gets over at Alphonse, and he's there for just a split second, staring right back at you. And while it's hard to see what, what little light there is, you're pretty sure there, there's a blush tinting, tinting Alphonse's cheeks. Aww. He sits stiffly with his hands on his lap, and turns attention back to the performance. He's trying to be brave and place a hand on his. Ah, you going really brave. Alphonse sets up more from your gestures as you play it cool, and goes back to watch the dancers. After a few moments, you feel Alphonse clap his hand in yours. He glances back at him and smile. Yay, priests. I think... Uh, good question. I see... Prisma... Alright, usual. Silver. I'm pretty sure they all look the same, so and there's no point to keep doing this, but at least this is the last. Colorist one? Yeah. So like, they only like input for. Um. With the month of October comes the Harvest Festival, and with every festival comes a tournament. You, Anna, Sharina, and Alphonse win the tournament with ease. And your prize is... A year's supply of pumpkins. Okay. Oh, no. We're barely getting, we're barely getting through the year's supply of carrots to one of the spring festival tournaments. I mean, you're probably like, it's like, for soup. But I guess it makes sense that you don't want to keep using, eating them every day. It's fine, Commander. I no, really don't have to worry about our food supplies running low. So, Sharina... Prefer not to eat carrots and pumpkins every day. Maybe you don't have to. Do you have a solution in mind, Karen? No, I'm just saying we don't have to eat them. We might as well find a use for them other than as food. Karen, that's brilliant. We have to serve you the pumpkins to ask our citizens. I'm sure they would appreciate it. <laughs> Why would she look so sad? It's like free. <laughs> the idea about using pumpkins for something else is a good idea, too. Hey, we could sell them for a profit if the deal is good enough. Both of these are great, Kieran. What do you think we should do? We're not... Okay, well... I want to have them, like, we should just give it to the citizens, because it's like... It's like... Like, it's nice. But then, again, again, we probably will be in debt later again, because of Anna's crazy schemes. So, I don't know. <laughs> My stats are, like, more or less the same. Mm. No! Let's get the pumpkins away. This is an asshole would definitely love getting free food. I know I would. Yes, let's do this while they're still fresh. You, Anna, Sharina, and Alphonse gather all your Pegasus Knights and Wyvern riders, r- r- riders to distribute the pumpkins throughout the kingdom. They're gonna fall. Unfortunately, the weather was not on your side. A strong windstorm hinders your Pegasus Knights and Reverend right nights, and then I'm dropping the pumpkins. Oh no. Raining pumpkins? Everyone in the area runs for cover as the year's supply of pumpkins rain down from the heavens. You could still do something with them. But you just. I'm so sorry. <laughs>